So today I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick and easy water change and show you guys how I do all my tanks and how I do them super fast and super easy. And I'll kind of go through you guys today like everything I do and then I'll kind of show you guys my new setup that I've had. If you follow me on Instagram you know the new RL system I've been setting up for quite a while now and I finally finished it. And obviously converting this tank to RO and then of course our other tanks to RO is going to be a lot easier and obviously a lot better for our plants. So I'll show you guys that and we'll make, I'll make a whole separate video on how I did my RO system but today, today will just be how I do my water changes for those people. So let's see, turn around. So, so I, I was in the middle of changing the water right now but basically this is self-explanatory so basically and this is what a lot of people do is for bigger tanks we just use a pump and use a hose in which this hose just goes you know straight out the window so that just makes everything 10 times easier instead of you know hand siphoning it out and putting it in buckets and carrying buckets that just takes too long if you have a smaller aquarium no big deal it's that's perfectly fine but when you have the tanks like this where you're pushing you know 50 gallons and over it just ain't worth doing all that and so i get a pump you try i mean this is 5 8 tubing and so it'll fit pretty strong pumps like this one will pump like five six hundred gallons an hour and that drains this tank in about literally like probably a 60 seconds and that drains it to about like 80 percent so this whole tank can probably get drained in about a minute 30 but if you're doing like a 50 percent water change no more than like 40 45 seconds to drain it no big deal at all so that's what makes that nice if you guys want to know what this pump is this is the alpion I didn't get nothing special. I mean, it's just there to literally drain water. It's not like I'm using it in a sump or using it for long term. It's just literally to dump water out of the tank. So I'm not trying to get nothing special. As long as it dumps water out fast, that's all I need to do. So really, any pump will work. I always try to at least get some water quality just so it lasts longer. But this should last me many years without any problems for sure. But but yeah, I plug it in and just does this thing, drains out to about 50% every week. So, in the room where I actually make the RO water, so we got our, and again, I'll make a whole separate video on this, but if you do have questions, definitely let me down below, because I can answer whatever you see here. But this is the 7 stage, 200 gallon per day by BRS, so this is basically the best system that you get out there for aquariums. I mean, of course, there's commercial units, and I mean, units that can go 1,000 plus gallons an hour, but for the aquarium hobbyists, for the regular aquarium hobbyists, for you know everyday use this is perfectly fine this is really the top of the line you're ever going to need and you could probably get away with just a hundred gallon per day but me personally i like even though i'm not going to use 200 gallons per day i just like having the ro water be made faster because then it can make with 200 gallons per day it makes about eight to nine sometimes 10 gallons an hour so if i ever need ro water in emergency situations i can have it so it just makes water a little bit faster but of course i do not need that many gallons a day but so so basically this tubing this now has to be in here but basically you can see so the ro water sim simple like any others float valve so all the water dumps into here and then i got two way makers this just keeps the water circulated just so nothing nothing weird build up build up happens in the bucket i just don't want it to get nasty because sometimes this water can sit here for a couple days if not used and then of course i got a heater down there i'm using the fluval e heater just because it, it does light up to tell you what if the temperature is you know once it turns green that means the temperature is at at the temperature that you set it at so that makes it nice so i can just look down there and see the light and it's digital so you can actually see it but with the ripple of the water of course i can't read that at all but at least it, when it, when it when it colors up like that, I know that it's good, so that makes it nice. And then, yeah, these are 2150, so 20, 1,150 gallons per hour, and so that's pushing about mm, about 2,300 gallons an hour in this bucket, which is again like way overkill. But I just I just wanted a nice circulation in this, so nothing builds up weird. And so, which kind of sucks about this room is I don't have a drain. And this was kind of the only place I could do this at. So I actually have a separate brute trash can. And this is a 55 and this is a 44. And so all the drain water goes into this. And no big deal. All I have to do is drain this every day. So it sucks, but no big deal. And I put an extra big, I put a huge pump in this. So you can see this is inch, inch and a half tubing. So I put a, I put a big old pond 
pond um, pump in here so it it actually pumps out 3,000 gallons an hour so I can drain this entire 55 in about 30 seconds so it takes nothing to drain that every day again kind of when you're doing RO systems you really want that to go down a drain line or a or a drain pipe in your sink but with my situation that's just not possible so that's the only downfall but really I mean 30 seconds out of my day to drain that every day no big deal and then of course the water going into my RO I have the main water line in my closet which is really nice so all I do is have the hose adapter hooked in to the pipe actually let's see if I can get, get a little knife here oh, oh, get a little knife get some of the stick that in there, there we go. so yeah you can see that the main water line then there's actually a a PEX that comes out into a, a hose adapter and I just have that hooked up and obviously the hose ran out and then I have it just drilled out the wall here uh, right up here so you can see they're there just to make it a little bit neater but that makes that nice but yeah so the water mixes and the nice thing is if I need to remineralize I just use um, my shrimp mineral and with so much circulation here I can just dump it in there and it mixes it all nice and evenly so it makes it real nice so so other than that if you other than that that's basically all obviously if you have questions you can ask me down below but i'm going to show you how i refill it now okay so now we get our tubing so basically the tubing that was from that 44 gallon we bring it out it's about 25 25 foot hose clear hose you know from any hardware store it's a clear 5 8 hose and so i got this so this is the end piece. This is just a piece that ha that came with the Owasa thermo um, filter. This was supposed to be the the intake that goes, you know, over your tank. And I honestly I put lily pipes. So this was obviously trash, but I used it for my. It, it worked good for my water change because then I can just hook it on there and water pours right into the tank. So that makes it nice. And then what I, what I also put on here was a. 5 8 ball valve so if I ever need to like if I'm starting a new tank I can just turn this ball valve it's kind of tight because it's new but I can adjust the flow if I need to obviously in this tank I just full blast it in there but with a new tank if I ever need to just slowly fill it I can just you know adjust it pretty easily so so what I like to do is I just get any clamp And then I'll show you, I'll give you guys a close up. But I just pour it down in there. Let's see. So you can hook it over to the tank like I showed you, or I just put it in there and let it shoot up so it kind of ripples the water and not, you know, not blow the sand everywhere or blow the plants anywhere. So I just do that. So after I do that, I or if I if I drain it super low, I'll put it on this rock so it, it, it spurts out onto this rock so it doesn't obviously still disperse anything, but I didn't drain it very far, so this is perfectly fine. Let's see here. So obviously I have a big pump down there too that, that you can't see because of the water. But first I gotta turn off all my pumps. Turn that off. Get my plug here. Reach. Let's see. So I plug that in. And then water starts flowing in. And then of course, you know, again I can adjust that if I need to. The water starts flowing in and and that's pretty much how I do a water water change. So so that, that's all I'm pretty much going to show you on this video. I, I think you guys get the point now. But obviously that will fill back up. I'll turn it back off. Roll up the hose. Put it back in the bucket. And yeah, that's pretty easy, pretty simple and easy. Again, if you have questions, definitely let me know. But And I'll make another video describing the RO system a little more and how it works and all that. But yeah, other than that, follow me on Instagram, JJ Aquariums, and definitely subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one.